wrapped in blankets, some in wheelchairs, forced from their homes and onto the street. And it's all because their neighbor was threatening to blow up his own home. 10 News anchor Jim Patton is live in La Mesa. And Jim, we've been saying this has just been so scary for those poor families. Certainly scary overnight, but also a night of exasperation. We've been learning this morning from a neighbor that they have just fed up with the man who lives here. Take a look at the house just to situate you. In a few moments, you're going to see this man stagger out the front door there and he falls into his bushes. First, though, let's hear from a neighbor that we spoke to just minutes ago. The cops come here three or four times a month and it's becoming a real problem that, um, you know, his mom moved away and left him here. <clears throat> for us to take care of the problem. So here is the scene last night. Our breaking news tracker, the only camera on scene is families along Southern Road and surrounding streets were evacuated to the street, some in their pajamas and night clothes. Others had blankets wrapped around them. There was at least one senior woman in a wheelchair and several children being held by their parents. It all started about 1130 when a man called 911 to say he had filled his house with gas and was going to blow it up. When police and fire crews arrived, they could smell the gas from the street and they began the evacuations. They also knocked on the door of the home and were greeted by the man who apologized and then went back inside. He stayed there for about 45 minutes before finally staggering outside, collapsing a few feet from his front door. Police closed him, put him in cuffs before carrying him across the street. And a few minutes later, he appeared to be standing on his own as he was put in a patrol car. Once the area was deemed safe, families were allowed back in their homes. And again, as you heard from that woman, neighbors say this has been an ongoing problem. In fact, just moments ago, another man came up and said, are they going to take care of this? This guy, this has got to end with all of this going on. So for what happened last night, nobody injured. That man being evaluated for his mental stability. Reporting live in La Mesa, Jim Patton, 10 News.